All right, CAD fans. In this video, we're going to move from 2D to 3D, uh, working on these road profile drawings from the uh, DOT Bridge and Road Project we're looking at in Old Town. So we see in this representation here at station 10 plus 20, the road pavement, the sub base under it, the little black things are curbs. We've got a sidewalk over here. Note that we have elevations and slopes of all these things. And we're going to do 10 plus 20 and 10 plus 30 and then connect them together eventually. But for this video we're going to work on drawing just 10 plus 20 and take it from there. So what I've done is used Excel and to calculate based on the slopes which are along the left hand side and the right hand side from center line of the road. So basically this column is, is center line and we're working right and left uh, starting from that top elevation of the center line. So if we switch back to the uh, drawing that point 34.590 is right here and also right there. Okay, So it, you, it'll take you a little time to figure this out but, but trust me these are the numbers I'm going to work from to draw the different layers in the road. This Excel sheet is also available in your drawing package toward the toward the back end of it. Uh, so let's let's get to switch to AutoCAD and get started here. So first thing is we're going to have to work in 3D. So let's do a new file and in this case use the ACAD 3D template which comes up and looks a little bit different. Still gives you this error message, but that's okay. So we're in 3D. You can swing the, around with this view box on the up in the corner here. If I click front, it'll move around that way. And then I could also do the same thing here. I can go to bottom, top, whatever you want to do. You can see it kind of flipping around here. But let's go back to front. And instead of realistic rendering, I'm just left clicking here. Let's just go to 2D wireframe. Of course we should also set up our units. So let's just type units. And I think in this case we'll use decimal. That's precision is fine. But we're going to do this in metric. So let's set it to meters. Should be okay. The other thing I want to look at is the grid. Right click. I know that popped off your screen. But pick settings. And we'll have the grid on and make it every one meter so it'll look like the grid that we just looked at in the road profiles. Put a major line every let's say 10. Okay, So there's our each little block then is a meter and there's bold lines of 10 meter. What we're going to do is take this as the center line so I'll use a, a construction line so type X line then it wants to specify a point. I'm going to type VER for vertical and then 0 comma 0. So that puts a construction line vertically right through the 0 0. Enter and let's do this one more time. X line and this time we're going to do a horizontal also at 0 0. Whoops, I typed O I think 0 comma zero and that's it hit enter now I've got baselines this horizontal line we'll use as the 130 contour so if we're looking back at the drawing this right here at the bottom of the grid that they're showing here I'll move it over a little bit actually it's 31 huh now well, we'll go down to 130 and work from there because then I can go and call this 34.590 if I take the bottom line as 30 I can take this as 4.590 you'll see how it works once, once we get going here back to AutoCAD alright take a quick break while I set up the layers there's some road building in action. Alright, so I set up the layers. 
I've got hot mix asphalt roadway, hot mix asphalt shoulder, the curb, hot mix asphalt sidewalk, and aggregate sub base. I made the asphalt ones all red, the curb blue, and the aggregate sub base green. I'm going to switch to the HMA roadway layer to start with, and we'll get started drawing. Now there's one thing that I noticed, I, mine's in XY right here, so I can draw things just fine. But since we're working in 3D, we may have to switch and do a few things with some of the other menus. I just switched to a 3D Basics. Uh, sorry Mac users, this is going to be a little worse. I don't have old menu styles to fall back on. But uh, you can only draw in an XY orientation unless you're drawing 3D solids. So if we're drawing 2D it's going to be XY. So we're going to need to make sure that our orientation is to view. So if you want, so then the other way to do it is to go to the command line and type UCS, User Coordinate System, and then it gives you the options, a bunch of different ones, and what you want to do, well, let's, let's type World just to see what happens. Now we're in ZX, if I try to draw a line, I clicked in one spot, but see it's trying to always draw on the XY plane, so we can't do that. Let's hit Escape, go back to the UCS command, type View, now we're in XY and we're ready to go. So we'll take the uh, Hot Mix Asphalt Roadway first, and I'm going to shut off the dynamic input, which is F12 if you're using commands. Go to the polyline tool, because this has to be a closed polyline. It says specify start point, and I'll just start, start typing them in. So 0 in the x direction, and 4.590 will put me right at the center line of the road. And then I'm going to go in the direction to the left, Next point, negative 3.60, comma, 4.518. I should move into the left over that way, going down the slope just a little bit at 0.02%. Now we're going to go down, so the x direction is still going to be minus 3.6. Y direction is down to 4.258. I'm just reading these numbers right off of the spreadsheet. It goes that way, and then we're going to go back to the right, back to 0, comma, 4.330. And that's half of my roadway, so let's continue around to the, the right-hand side. Going over to the right, 5.50. And in the y direction, 4.220. And then up, so again, 5.50. Oops, I didn't type right there. 5.50, comma, 4.480. And then the last thing I'll type is C for close. And there's my hot mix asphalt layer. Now I think I'll go ahead and draw some of the others. There's no sense in you watching me just type in numbers. So I'll take another break and I'll be back. Boy, this road could be a little smoother, couldn't it? Ten four. All right, so I'm back. And you can see I've almost finished coming around this here. I'm at minus 6.55. And, oh, I just did something wrong today. So what you want to do is just hit the U key at this point. You should undo back to where you were. You can go back a couple of lines if you, if you screw up, like I just did. Minus 6.55, comma, 4.275. And then up to minus 6.55, oops, comma, 4.635. Brings me around behind the curb. And then I'll go over to minus 6.4, comma, 4.635. 
that brings me up to the face of the curve and then the easy part is I can just click on all these all the way around to make it just match right up to the bottom of what I drew for pavement. Pan over because you want to make sure this is all one closed polyline shape for our 3D work that we're going to do later. So then this should close. I'll just type C to make sure. And there it is. Let's do a zoom extents. And there is my road setup so far. At this point we should be able to measure the areas of these then too. That would be pretty complicated to do that one. So let's try it. Measure geometry, right? Measure geom. We'll do area and then what is it? object select object pick that and there it gave me the area of that really funny looking shape I like that and I think that's gonna be it for this video we'll move on to the next one bye for now